Alright, sorry about that guys. Uh, we're trying this again. Hopefully, sorry, I'm just put my phone down here. Alright, hopefully we won't have any more spaz attacks by, by my Xbox 360 for a little bit further. I know we will. It's, it's inevitable. And I totally went the wrong way to say what's up to her, but she's on lookout. Hello. Watch your step, sister. Mother Pearl's instructions are clear. You can move freely around Nellis, and artillery spotters have orders not to fire on you. These are extraordinary privileges. Don't abuse them. Mother Pearl said you have a bug problem. Long story short, the power failed a few days ago because giant ants have tunneled into the generator room and set up a nest. I led a team down to exterminate them, but there were so many of them. We lost. Two killed, three wounded. Personally, I think it's more than a savage can handle. But if you want to kill those ants and switch the power back on, feel free. I can handle a few ants. Sure, anyone can. But there's more than a few down there. See for yourself. Oh, one other thing. The ants must be eating gunpowder from the munitions down there. Or something. They exploded when hit by a flamethrower. One of us was using a laser pistol. Same thing. Bullets seem okay. Just don't hit the artillery shells. Loyal's been working on some kind of weapon to use against them. Maybe you should check with him. Okay. I just gotta check something. One second, this doesn't make any sense. Okay, good. Because he kept calling, she kept calling me sister, unless referring to Veronica over there. I was like, what the fuck are you on? Like, stop. I'm a man, for fuck's sakes. Anyway, um, so they recommend that I check with Fug Nuts. Loyal may have something to help with the ants. I might as well do that. Where, where's Loyal? See, that's the annoying thing. I'm assuming that's the generator room, so... Well, either or, really. Yeah, Loyal's in the warehouse. There's the generator room over there, so... Loyal will be over here. And we'll never be Royals! You can talk to Loyal! Where is this cat? Missed ya, gutsy. Yeah, I know he's in here. I know he is for a fact. Loyal's one of the guys he's got a crush on another lady friend, I think. There's a few of them. Generator room is definitely over there. So we'll just go say hello to these people and be like, yo, do you have a gun? Motherfucker, do you have a gun? Hello, Los Angeles. Just kidding. Oh, shit. Shit. I just realized something. He does, but you need to collect a bunch of shit for him. I should have grabbed that goddamn pressure cooker. Watch your steps, sister. Why are you calling me that? I'm a man! So you're the outside. I... Me? I work with Loyal. Mostly electronics work in robotics. Keeping the old technologies alive, right? What can you tell me about Loyal? Loyal's a great man, but he's getting on in years. So a younger's got to learn everything he knows. That'd be me. The man knows how to fix and build just about everything that was ever made. It's not easy keeping up with him. If you help him recover the lady, I figure... Oh, I figure it's been a nice day. Yeah, a real nice day. Recover a lady? What are you talking about? Did I say that? Sometimes I just say stupid things. Sorry about that. Pearl will tell you when the time comes. If, I mean, I should really be going. Anyway, um, no, I don't think so. Oh, if here's Loyal. If you can't keep that thing under control, I will. I hope Pearl knows what she's doing, letting you wander around Nellis as you please. I'm looking for ways to make myself useful. 
If that's so, how about you look into repairing the solar arrays on the roof of the generator building? Nothing too complicated about it, but it's a long ways to walk my old bones, and there's been that ant problem over near there. You can't miss the array. It's on top of the generator building smack dab in the middle of Nellis between the two runways. Funny you should mention that I have array parts right here. Hey, that's great. You shouldn't have much trouble getting those fixed up then. Just stop back when you're done. I forgot about that. I had those. Let's talk about something else. All right. What can you? Can I get a code to use the VR pods in the mess hall? No, those aren't for outsiders to use. Leave them alone. I'm genuinely interested in your people's history. What are the pods for? Well, if you genuinely care so much, they're flight simulators. If you don't know our history yet, you should see Pete and get the tour. We dream to one day rule the skies. You probably will. Raquel said you're working on some kind of weapon to fight the giant ants. I started building a sonic emitter that might do the trick, but it's useless without knowing the exact frequency that would kill the ants. Any signal over 22,000 hertz at 150 or more decibels should do the trick. Hot damn, you're right. It's a matter of boosting across those thresholds, not exact amplitude. You're smarter than you look. Just so happens I was testing it at 24,000 hertz, so it should be good to go. Place it near their nest and cross your fingers. Signal's too high for people to hear, so no harm done. But it might make you feel sick to your stomach. All right, well, I appreciate that. That was you some easy money. That thing under control, I will. It's my dog. If someone calls me sister one more fucking time. What is it, outsider? Goodbye. I'm getting so sick of that. Like, I swear, you guys saw I'm a male. Like, I'm not a woman with a beard. <laughs> like, just to be sure. Let's just make sure. I think it's a glitch, but just to be sure. Strip down. Look at the figure. Obvious man. No tits. Those are pecs. It's an obvious fucking man. <laughs> oh, right. I lose my ability to carry shit when I take that off. That's funny. Okay. Well, I think they're just on glue. Because, I like, the first time I let it slide, but the second time... I don't know, man. Seems a little fishy, doesn't it? <laughs> it's fucking ridiculous, man. Hey, sister, watch yourself. I'm a man. Fuck. Like I said, they could be talking to Veronica over there. It's very possible. Wait a minute. Let me look at the quest real quick. Because I got a quest here. Find spare array parts. That was easy enough because I did that one side thing. Help the boomers around Nellis. Oh right, I have to re I have to redo that. That's okay. There's a lot of missions for me to do in this game. Lots of stuff. I mean I could do a long let's play, which I'm thinking I'm doing. I'm gonna be doing. That way I always have content for you guys. Most people love my Fallout stuff. And I love it too. It's a lot of fun playing Fallout, you know? Got a Mr. Gutsy, is that what that is? Yeah, that's with the that Mr. Gutsy over there. Oh, wait a minute, doesn't... Wait a minute, maybe I could do two birds with one stone. Let me just equip this. Yeah, totes, my goats. I could totally do this and kill the ants. I might as well fix them right now. Hold on. If it'll let me in there. Easy does it. Dude, how do I get up there? There you go. Let's go fix it. You thoroughly clean polish and you also clean and rewire some degraded circuits you spotted. Array efficiency improved by 50%. I should have a bunch. Because I should have enough array parts. You don't use the spare parts it's not gonna work but you don't have another you don't have any other use for it anyway so 
There we go. Done deal. Now they should have a better reception. 60%. That is easy money. Holy crap. Okay, well, I'm just going to finish this ant shit. Kill all the ants in the generator. Okay. So you're welcome on all fronts. I've been here like, I don't know, 20 minutes. And I've already done more than any of them could. I can't believe taking the tour is considered helping out, but I guess it shows interest in their backstory so they can trust you a little more. I get that. What up? Whoa, what the tits? My fucking leg. My own limbs. What happened? I have no idea what happened. That was weird as hell. All right. No, no, what am I doing? Could be here. I have no idea. I don't want to kill the ants. I want I want to use the uh That is going to be a big drop. So is that. I want to be safe here. She's going to have killed all of them by the time I actually use it. Alright, hold on. Oh, jeez. This guy got fucked up. A lot of boomers. I should have another assault carbine somewhere, right? I mean, it's heavy enough. Or it's light enough. I mean, I have enough strength to carry it. All right, there's the ladder. So I was debating on jumping that, but it's a good thing I didn't. I probably could have made it, but that's neither here nor there. I don't want to kill them all right away. I want to use as a. I want to use his device. Maybe that's this though. What the hell did that do? What did I do? One second. Oh, those are the two generators. Then reset the main power breaker. Okay, well, where the fuck is the nest? What up, dude? Ain't nothing but a fan. Oh! Oh, they blow up. Fuck, that's what happened. You gotta stay away from the ants. Oh, shit. Watch out! Why are they so explosive? It's like this is a test. It's ridiculous. I don't want to kill these guys. I'm trying to find the nest. This looks like a back door. Son of a whore. But maybe it isn't. One sec. What's going on here? Weird. I don't know why it's telling me that. I didn't have to go there at all, but I'll keep looking for that nest.
By the time I activate the nest, I'm gonna be... Whoa! Holy shit! Well, goddamn. I guess that's why they don't want you doing that. It's because I turned the power on. So that was my fault. So how am I going to do this? Alright, tell you what. Here's what we do. Uh, you guys wait. Should have brought some... Okay, and here's what we do. I have a few stealth boys. Let's do it up. I don't think it matters. I don't want to shoot anything. I can't find it, man. I don't know where this thing is. And these things aren't stupid. So it's got to be directly below me. Oh my god, why must you do this to me? There's the nest. I see it. I'm going to save. I don't trust this. We'll see if I die. Oh, I'm fine. Fuck. There you go. I'm gonna run back. Wherever the hell back may be. Well, if I had known it was right there, I would have put it there. This has got so many different things. Alright, how do I activate it? Huh? Sorry, I don't know if I missed anything. Alright, one sec. Let me just... Don't kill them, please. Shit. How do you activate the Sonic Emitter? gonna look nothing here shit hold on let's get them away Well, they're going to kill them away from this. Oh, that's all you had to do. Oh, I see. Well, that was my fault for being a noob. Well, I got it done. Thump thump. What the hell is this? Is that like a grenade launcher? Must be. Okay, so I didn't see that. I, I That was my fault. I should have hit the button immediately. Alright, so he's with me. Let's just make sure he's following me still. Alright, I gotta go. I gotta go get Veronica. 
So yeah, this was my way out. So I did the optional objective. It kind of wasn't that necessary. I could have just shot the shit. That was so easy. They were just explosive. That's exactly why they're like, bruh. Aww. Okay, so we're done with that. Let me just read the optional objectives before I leave. Return to Raquel. And let her know to stop fucking being a douche. But yeah, no, remember, remember that guy I was talking to? Not loyal, but the guy who called me sister? The other guy who called me sister? Yeah, him. He has a love story, and there's a bit of running around you gotta do for him, so. It's kinda cute. I guess. That's what you into? I wonder if I should run, or what's going on here? Okay, fast travel. She's a little ways away. I gotta go talk to Loyal some more. There's just a bunch of crap that I have to do, but that's two missions down, like, within seconds. Like, good thing I went and did that array first, you know what I mean? Otherwise, you'd have to go from point A to point B, and if I hadn't done it, like I said, if I hadn't done it, this would have been a whole different story, and I'd, it would be another mission that would take a million years to do. So, anyway. That's that, y'all. So let's go... What the hell's that? Oh, nothing. So Raquel... Can, she, if she calls me sister, man, I swear, I'm not going to be a happy camper. Because we will never be royals. We will never be boomers. They are crazy in the head. They think a lot like C4. They would rather blow you up some more. She's probably sleeping. So we be tiptoeing in my power armor. Oh, Raquel. Oh, shit. This is the women's barracks. <laughs> she may have a problem with me in there. being Coming in and being like, I took care of it, sweetheart. Tuck you in. <laughs> Can you imagine just tucking her in? Hello. Oh, never mind. They I don't see seem... the powers back on. The ants are all dead? Yeah, they are. Yes, it's safe to go down there now. Maybe Pearl is right about you. Because I don't know how you pulled that off. Well, you pulled the fucking trigger. I'll tell Loyal to send someone down to clear out the eggs and repair the generators. Good work. Now they're accepted. Easy money. Oh, Veronica. I'm not going to steal. I promise. All right, next thing I'm going to do, because I pretty much finished it. Oh, it's early morning. 2.30? Really? In the morning? They're already getting to work? Or is that my latitude and longitude levels? No, that's my time. Okay, so, let's see. Quest. Tell Loyal everything is good to go. I'll probably just fast travel. No, he's outside. He's probably just waking up himself. Yeah, this works out, too. Hey, Loyal! I have done it. The sun will shine and the power will be fully optimized. You're welcome, sir. You are most welcome. And I think you can actually break into the armory if you want and get a buttload of weapons, but that's just not a good idea. Oh, Loyal's got his own house. Look at this guy. He's balling right the fuck out. He doesn't have to stay in anything. If you can't... Hello, outsider. Need something? Nope. I repaired the solar arrays and increased their efficiency. An impressive piece of work. I'll keep that in mind if jobs come up in the future. Goodbye. That's easy money. See ya. More boomer fame. All right, let's go back to the quest. So those two are finished. Let's go back to Valer. What else do I need to do around here? Nothing else in his house. I'll leave his house. They really, they really are annoyed with my dog, aren't they? Like, they're just really aff offended for whatever reason. Yeah, and this guy right here does the tours. I think. Yeah, it's, it's, he's like in here. I'll take the tour. Get an easy, <laughs> easy amount of money. Actually, I don't even know if that counts. Hello, little one. Are you, you're the outsider. Mother Pearl sent word that you'd be stopping by. You must be eager to hear the story of our people. Sure. I'd like to know. Let's ask him. Who are you? Me? I'm Pete, keeper of the story. 
I know I seem kind of young. I was the apprentice keeper of the story until a couple months ago. But old keeper Don, well... I hear you, buddy. Whiskey and landmines don't go together. So it's up to me. I bet you want to know everything about us. Oh, everything! Not really. I'd like to know more about your people. Wonderful. I'm sure you've noticed the mirror on the wall of this hut. Shall I tell you what it all means? Sure. Excellent. Imagine you're the first outsider to ever hear our tale. <clears throat> all right, little dude. What do you got? That's kind of cool, actually. Look at that mural. Ages ago, long before I was born, we lived underground. Everyone had guns, but the overseer wouldn't let us explode anything. Not even a hand grenade. They were all vault dwellers. Look at their suits. I knew that from the get-go. And? KP, keep yapping. Pete, keep talking. Oh my god, he's not talking. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Oh, look, a snow globe. Dude, why isn't he talking? Shit, I shouldn't have done that. Pete, you fucking asshole! For the love of shit! Are you kidding me? There he is, okay. Why isn't he? Ago, long before oh I was my god. Born, we lived I'm just gonna stay next to him. Everyone had guns, but the overseer wouldn't let us explode anything. Not even a hand grenade. Why won't he talk? I don't understand what's going on here. Yeah, what? Continue! Pete, continue! Ages ago, long before Look at this. I was born, we lived underground. Everyone had guns. But the overseer wouldn't let us explode anything. Not even a hand grenade. He doesn't finish the sentence. You've got to be kidding, man. I don't have fucking time for this. Oh, he's the keeper of the story, but he won't tell me anything but that one line. What time is it? It's four in the morning. Pete, just fucking get on with it. I'm so sick of this. Talk, Pete! Ages Okay, I swear to God. Before I was born, we lived underground. Everyone had guns. But the overseer wouldn't let us explode anything. Not even a hand grenade. Oh my God, he's actually moving. We left and wandered the wastes. There were savages with knives. We blew them up with frag mines and grenades. Burned them with flamethrowers. It was neat. But there was a downside. For every 43.6 savages we killed, we lost one of our own. We needed a new home. We needed Nellis. God, this kid, I don't know. Vault 34 they came Here from. Here we have prospered and multiplied. Here are mighty guns to destroy any savages who might try to harm us before they can even reach our gates. Well, until... But... Not saying you want to harm us, or you're a savage, but anyways. Nellis has revealed many secrets. It has taught us how to fly the bombers once based here, and it has taught us where to find one. Right, I gotta go find the bomber. It's at the bottom of a lake somewhere. And that is our story so far. For this last image, is our future. To, to blow shit up. Bomber, to fly the open skies in armored safety. Running high explosive ordnance upon ignorant savages. This is our destiny. Damn, who I'm made that up? Listen to the entire story. Perhaps there are details you'd like to know more about. Let me know. 